every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. I guess me and Felsberg missed that rule because we've been going around telling people all about it. <laughs> you know what the best part of being in a fight club with Felsberg is? Oh, he's made out of felt. So it's kind of like punching a cloud. It's really cool. And, oh, hello, my name is Afomancho. No, I do not abuse puppets. Hello, Felsberg, how are you? You know, I was just telling them how you're made out of felt. He doesn't hurt the Transformers he's eating, guys. Jeez. <sighs> Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. You know, my last review, I reviewed the following. Now, you might remember that I reviewed the Craft One Thigther Fighter figure. <laughs> the one based on Brad Pitt from Fight Club. And it is awesome. And that's still not his stand that he came with. But anyway, the figure looks amazing. But the thing is, this figure actually came with more than one head and more than one outfit. But only one body if you buy the standard edition. If you buy the deluxe edition, you get two muscle bodies like this. So what I did is I bought the standard edition thinking I would just use one of them and then I liked the other one anyway. So I just went ahead and bought an extra body because I found it pretty cheap. And now I have both of the figures and I thought you might want to see it. So would you like to see the other Tyler Durden? Tyler Durden says yes, so let's go look at him. So here's the second Tyler Durden figure all dressed up and put on the same muscle body that Craftone made. And he looks amazing. I think this is awesome that you get both versions. And I mean, it looks really good. And honestly, I'm glad I waited for the second body because this shirt is made out of like spandex lycra material and it's really stretchy. But it, putting it over his arms and his shoulders and stuff is pretty hard. Getting both of his arms through the sleeves, I should say. And uh, everything else went on really easily. I mean, the buttons were a little hard to... Uh, the buttons. The pants button was a little hard to button, but that's just because it's a tiny little button. And then there's his boots looking very cool. But yeah, I'm glad I waited to get the other body because putting that shirt on and off, I would be afraid I'd be stretching it. So you just want to do it once, in my opinion. You don't want to be taking it on and off. But I think he looks very cool indeed. Let's look at him from behind. So here he is from behind, and he just looks awesome. I mean, you can look at that right there and go, yep, Tyler Durden. Uh, but anyway, there he is. Now, the jacket is made out of a really soft material, and I think it looks awesome. Did I just see a little bug fly by? I guess a little bug flew out of Tyler's jacket. I don't know. Tyler's that kind of guy, I guess. But you know what? He looks amazing. And look at that head sculpt. A lot of people on, you know, boards and, you know, in reviews say, well, this one doesn't look like Brad Pitt. It looks like somebody else. Well, <laughs> Okay, whatever. I don't care what you say anymore, people, because you can't believe everybody's opinion. You either like it or you don't, and if you don't like it, don't get it. Now, I like it. I think it looks fine. In fact, you know, in hand, of course, that's the uh, cliche. In hand, they always look better than you think they do from the photos and stuff like that. And I think he looks amazing. The shirt is a work of art. It's got the little motocross thing. Now, as I was watching the movie to figure out, you know, which way it went, uh, none of the pictures are accurate. It's just made to look like it. Uh, it's not like the exact shirt that he wears, but believe me, I mean, you look at this and you look at a still or whatever from the photo and you can go, yeah, I know who that's supposed to be. The jacket, I thought the collar was a little too big when I first saw it. Uh, you have to lay it down, of course. Now, the little lapel thing on the bottom part of the collar doesn't fold over the way it should, but that's okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And uh, since I only had one set of rings, I couldn't put any rings on him, on his hands, but that's okay, too. It doesn't really matter there, either. And there's his pants. Just look like normal pants, and the boots look awesome! I think they are so cool. So I think we should look at them up close. What do you say? So here we go with a super duper close up look and look at all those motorcycles all lined up with the little drivers on them. Oh, that's awesome. That one over there is going to And over here we got another wheel. That is awesome. I like that little one right there. It's tiny. And over here you can see the material of the jacket. Like I said, the jacket is really soft. It's not like thick leather or fake thick leather or whatever you want to say. Uh, it's actually, you know, really, really soft and I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Um, but anyway, there's his buttons over there. I expected it to be thicker is all I was trying to say. There's the button sewn on. Now let's work our way up here to his face. Hey, where's your face, Tyler? There's his little goatee thing there. There's his Brad Pitty lips, like I said in the last review. And look at all the pores on his face. They did a really good job with that. I think that looks awesome. And then there's his Brad Pitt eyes looking very cool indeed. Now, I noticed in the last review, I didn't notice this when I filmed it, 
but I didn't notice that, see how his eyebrows are pixelated or whatever? <laughs> that is so cool looking. I know it looks silly, but, but you know, in real life, looking at it, you can't see that. It's just magnified like this. It's that you can see it. But I think that looks so cool, and I think they did his eyes absolutely perfect. I mean, that is Brad Pitt's face. And then there's his forehead, and then there's his hair. And I think the hair sculpt is really good, too. They did a really good job on that. I do wish, um, I don't know, uh, I've seen pictures, you know, like stills, that this one was probably, you know, based on and junk like that. And I know he has like a, a bloody kind of a scratch or something on his on his cheek or something. I wish they would have done that, but that's okay, because the other one has battle damage. So that's pretty cool. And then down here, what do we got? We got his hands. That, this is the standard hands that came with the figure. That's the only set that I got with it, but it came with his hands and his feet, so I'm happy. And then here's his shoes, if we can show them off. Oh, I don't know, can we? Maybe. Oh, it's so dark. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there you go. It's still pretty cool to me. Now, before we glo go, I was going to say, before we glow, where's that bug? Maybe it was a glow bug. Before we go, let's see the figures together and compare. What do you say? But here they both are looking amazing. Two different versions of Tyler Durden from two different, you know, times in the movie. And I think that is awesome. Now, out of the two, I think I prefer the shaved head one, only because I've seen so many red-jacketed, spiky hair versions of Tyler Durden, you know, figures over the years that, you know, it's just so cool to see this version over here. Now, do I still like the other one? Of course I do, and I'm so glad that I have both. I mean, it's so cool that this figure came with both versions, albeit, you know, if you want to get the, the full body, too, you have to buy the deluxe edition, which is like... 20 or 30 dollars more but that's okay or you can look around and try to find the body cheap like i did and that's what i did i got it for about 20 something but anyway i think that is pretty awesome indeed i mean check them out and it's up to you which one you think looks more like them it's up to you which one you like more it doesn't matter i mean hey this there's, there's a little bit of everything for everybody on this planet so there's enough tylers to go around and yes, I realize how weird that sounded. But you know what? I hope you enjoyed today's very quick review. It was supposed to be a lot quicker than this. Look at that, seven and a half minutes. But you know what? It's still pretty cool, and I just wanted to show it off. Because, you know, when I got the body, I thought, you know what? This looks really good. And it was a lot easier to put together than I thought it would be. Aside from putting on that shirt. But that shirt, it really wasn't a problem. It's just, like I said, you don't want to be taking it on and off. It's kind of like this one with the mesh. You kind of don't want to, you know, risk messing it up, taking it on and off. But anyway... There he is looking amazing, and it's so cool to have both versions of Tyler now to stand on my shelf. So, until next time, and next time is going to be a good one. That's why I'm trying to get to this review fast so I can get to the next review. So until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews. <laughs> Come on, Felsbuck, quick. Quick, Felsbuck, we got to get to the next review. It's a good one, so let's go do it.